lovely day for me to rant rant away a little bit you understand today is tuesday the 18th of august 2020 why are people so damn stubborn i don't understand i'm trying to figure out and trying to understand why some people are so hardened and so stubborn and don't like to take precautionary measures for their self, their safety, their health, their life, and with their family. You know, I don't understand. I really, really don't. We have a pandemic here, not just in Trinidad and Tobago, but all over the world, the entire globe. It's at its mercy with this Rona, <clears throat> Miss Rona who somehow got horn to my international viewers horn is another way of saying cheating in trans people she get horn so what does she do she decided to spread her vengeance amongst everybody and unfortunately in the process taking lives which by the way is really sad it is <laughs> I don't know if it's what is scary it's more like it's it's very concerning it's it's it's, it's it, it leaves you feeling weird knowing that this particular cv19 ain't like any other virus it's not like any other it just don't care it don't care it don't business what or who you are whether you have pre-existing conditions or not whether you are a child a young adult a full-grown adult or a senior citizen it do not care it doesn't care about what race ethnicity background it ain't care it ain't care life is precious you know your life is precious and in order for you to work and go to school get your education and do something with the economy is concerned in order for these things to continue on or whatnot especially with the economy you have to have humans running it because the economy ain't gonna run on its own you understand this is very 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 unfortunate as far as i'm concerned and uh, even though at this point for me i am taking all kind of precautionary measures i am following my guidelines i am taking precautionary measures i don't have to wait for the government or whoever's in charge to continuously tell me the same thing over and over again when you the individual have to take precautionary measures on your own i mean this is not a joking matter this is a serious thing for the livelihood of your children the livelihood of yourself whoever it might be in your family you have to protect yourself and even if you end up getting this thing, God forbid, you know, you still have to take care of yourself. Especially if you had to wait for results to come out to know that if you have it or not. You can't go and go gallivanting all over the place thinking that, oh, it's no big deal. And the next thing you know, when the results do come out and they contact you and, and tell you what's going on. And they realize that you're positive. You don't go and gallivanting all over the place. So now more people have been they have been exposed to this thing and there's a possibility that those individuals who were exposed some of them may end up getting this, this thing now that i put themselves in quarantine because of one person who may be a little bit more selfish they didn't care they just gone all over the place oh but jesus i need just mad i am fed up i am fed up Jack. right now i'm in my house I've been in my house for a while. The only time I'm able to go out is to do essential business, which includes paying bills, um, grocery shopping, pharmacy, you understand? And pay a visit to my doctor. I don't have to pay a visit to him anytime soon now because I get what I get, so I'm good. But when it comes to those things, those are the only things I had to see about and ride my tail back home afterwards oh don't talk about mask using i use not my mask like i don't know what i had to buy an additional mask which i did 
I think I might have to buy two more just in case because <laughs> yeah, this is darn ridiculous. At the same time, you know, buy more hand, hand sanitizers and well I have sanitizers and I say I don't have I have in my bag, my going out bag, my you know, my bag where to go out and get my stuff and whatnot. I make sure I have it in my bag. I have it in my house. Down to that and hand wash. I ain't playing. Even the wipes, the san san you know the the, the, the antibacterial wipes. Yeah those. Make sure I have enough of those too. And nobody coming over my house to no visit. So you know, if you're coming to drop off something, you better go and wash your hands, sir. Sanitize, wash your hands. And don't even think about taking off your mask. Leave it on. But if you do take off your mask, stay six feet. And then go wash your hands again. Because I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's with my family, but <laughs> I hardly have family coming from my house, which is good. <laughs> Because I know where them was either. <laughs> the only way we can contact and keep in touch with each other is via cell phone, landline, internet, you know, once you have Wi Fi, you know, because not everybody's able to pay the, the data bill, you know, so you have avenues to reach out to your people, you know, just to find out if everything is good and fine with them. Because the way how things are going, I don't see certain. Um, sectors being opened out anytime soon and that includes the number one thing that is like the thing in Trinidad and Tobago for a lot of people it's carnival I don't see that happening next year that out to the question they may have to do something else to pull in another type of avenue or another type of thing when it comes to getting the revenue from that but it won't be from carnival itself because you know people will be outside and you don't want to take a chance because already it is a lot every day is a lot more coming in and it's <laughs> Jesus and ages I don't know if I should put the amount of what is happening here in back home in my country I kind of got fed up now <laughs> beyond because it's a lot it's a lot and unfortunately the death toll had increased and my condolences and prayers goes out to every single one of my truly people back home in the Caribbean back home here who lost someone due to this thing my prayers and thoughts goes out to you guys you know like I said whether it's pre exist whether the person have pre-existing conditions or not this thing does not care it does not care, do not care, it don't care, it just don't care. And we humans have to take responsibility for our lives and our safety. And I know I'm talking a lot because honestly, this is my little rant right now and I'm, I'm kind of upset and I'm kind of disappointed in some ways with some of my people. And of course, I know there's not just only here. There are the people are all over the globe and whatnot. Yes, you want the economy to happen. You want things to put into place. But what's more important, the economy or, your, or, your, or the lives of, your, of, of those in your country? What's more important? What is more important? I just want to know. So the only thing that's left to do is just to pray. I still, I'm still a believer. I am a child of God. I love him with all my heart and my soul. I am not going to question his love or question his faith or question his guidance or question his reasoning and these things that are happening. He knows why this is happening. He knows why this is happening. And we just have to continue to pray. And <laughs> I miss the miss watching camera. We just have to continue to pray and just continue to take care of ourselves and protect our well-being because we have one life here you know if you want to continue living and you want to continue seeing way to see another day you don't want this thing to take your life you don't you just don't just have just have the man upstairs in your in your heart in your soul in your life no matter what as difficult as it is I know some people don't have any beliefs in him but I will still pray for you guys. I will. I don't care. I really. This is one time we all have to come together and put our selfish ways and needs 
aside, humanity is is being threatened by Miss Rona. Miss Rona, the CB19, Miss Rona, you know? Very unfortunate. But we have to persevere. We just have to. I know you're wearing all your masks for me, please. Wear it for me, please. Have all your hands sanitized, that hand. Wash all your hands. Six feet. Practice social and physical distancing. I know it's difficult for you, like if you have your boyfriend and girlfriend and or you're not living in the same house and <laughs> you want to see each other. I know how that feels like, trust me. <laughs> and the only thing you can do is, is just to communicate by a cell phone, technology wise. If you have Skype, use it. If you have WhatsApp, chat where you could, you know, chat with the person on the, on the you know, device. You just have to do that, you know keep in touch with each other, your loved ones, your family, just keep in touch with them from a distance. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do, yes? I mean, shoot. Don't, don't, don't take any chance on you. Don't risk it. Don't, don't go out there and risk all yourself and go by hopping and all kind of things. Stop it. You know, it's taking risk and things. Stop it. You know, it's not time for that. Protect yourselves. You know, take precautionary measures. This is ridiculous. Anyhow, with that being said, let me end it up by saying thank you everyone who took the opportunity to look at my channel, you know, come to my avenue, my spot, my little home away from home, you know, and give me the kind of blessing and love and sending me nice messages and, you know, it's, I appreciate very much. I appreciate everything that you guys say to me and you took the opportunity to subscribe to my channel like give me the views you know i appreciate i appreciate you all very much i really really do coming from me and i want you all to be safe be safe not as home in my country of Trinidad and Tobago but everybody else be safe y'all please 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 be safe all right with that being said y'all take care of yourselves and we will link up again whenever I feel like it. Alright, so bye, laters.